Hello there, it's Florida Man Coasters here, and I'm going to be talking about Hershen Family Entertainment versus SeaWorld Entertainment. Both pretty large, you know, um, competitors in the theme park, amusement park landscape. Both of them not being number one, of course, you know, Six Flags, Cedar Fair are a lot larger than they are in parks, and, you know, popularity of parks, but... I would say that Hershen and SeaWorld are probably third and fourth, not con not considering Universal and Disney. But let's now talk. Let's now compare them. I want to compare them in this video. I think it could be you know, pretty interesting. So let's go into it. So Hershen, of course, has Silver Dollar City, Dollywood, Kentucky Kingdom, and Wild Adventures. Well, SeaWorld has SeaWorld San Diego, SeaWorld. San Antonio, SeaWorld Orlando, Busch Gardens Tampa, and Busch Gardens Williamsburg, which are all pretty good parks, to say the least. And I would say that Hershen and SeaWorld both have quality over quantity on the aspect in their parks. So let's go and compare their parks. So, Hershen, their bottom two parks, or their bottom, bottom two parks, I just talk about bottom one because they really Kentucky Kingdom is a lot better than Wild Adventures. So Wild Adventures versus Sea World San Diego and San Antonio. San Antonio and San Diego are both by themselves a hundred the, the infinitely better than Wild Adventures. Wild Adventures is main riser SLC and a boomerang. Yeah. It's not very good, and I would not really care to go there, in my opinion. It just didn't seem fun to go on an SLC and Boomerang when I could just go to, like, well, like, two hours up to Atlanta to go, on, to go to over Georgia. But, yeah, um, Wild Adventures honestly sucks. I think the majority of people can agree on that. So, let's get to the more of their middle parks. Kentucky Kingdom... Versus SeaWorld Orlando. SeaWorld Orlando, very good ride up lineup, and Kentucky Kingdom has a very good ride lineup, in my opinion. I've now, of course, went to Kentucky Kingdom, but from, I'm just going off of what majority of people in the community think. So, let's talk about this. SeaWorld Orlando has Mako, which is their number one. They also have Manta and Kraken. So this looking at the top three, let's compare to Kentucky Kingdom's top three with Storm Chaser, Wedding Run, and probably Thunder Run. So who has a better top three? I would say that Storm Chaser is better than Mako and Wedding Run is better than um Manta. But I would say slightly for uh, Manta and slightly for Mako. So, but Kraken is, I would assume, a lot superior to Thunder Run. So I would still, by a smidge, give it to SeaWorld Orlando. So, how about their main parks, which are, you know, the main talking point of. The video, Busch Gardens Williamsburg, and Busch Gardens Tampa, which are in Florida, Tampa, Florida, of course, and Williamsburg, Virginia, compared to Hershen's Silver Dollar City in Branson, Missouri, and Pigeon Forge, Tennessee's Dollywood, which of course is very well known. So in popularity, I would say, like in how like busy the parks are, I would say that. You know, SeaWorld parks are a little bit less crowded normally, in my experiences. Which might just be because of the controversy with them and the animals, but... You know, um, I would say that they are a little bit be less busy on majority of days, which, you know, it, 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 it's nice that for that for them to be a little bit less busy. Even if they're still really busy a lot of the time. So, let's compare their bottom of the two parks. Bush Gardens Williamsburg versus Do Dollywood. Bush Gardens Williamsburg, great atmosphere, great theming, looks beautiful. The rides are great, um, with Alpen Guys being a great invert, Pantheon being good, but not but a little bit overrated. I would, at least in my opinion, 
Um, and then they also have, you know, good, good B&M dive, probably second or third best B&M dive, in my opinion. Secret's better, in my opinion. Um, and also have some other, you know, good rides with, like, Fur Bolton, Invader, um, and many other great family coasters, too. And that was compared to Dollywood. Dollywood, the adult coasters, Mystery Mine, Thunder, um, Thunderhead, um, Lightning, um, Lightning Rod, which are all, you know, good coasters, great. Except Mystery Mine. Mystery Mine sucks. And Tennessee Tornado, of course. I would say their top three for Dollywood is Lightning Rod, Thunderhead, and Tennessee Tornado. And I would say the top you know, the top three for British Gardens Williamsburg is Alpengeist, Pantheon, Pantheon being better, Alpengeist, and probably, the, um, Griffin, probably, if I'm, uh, no, Apollo's Chariot, actually, I don't know, I forgot about Paul, Apollo's Chariot, that's a lot better than, um, which one called, than Griffin. Anyways, continuing from that little goof, um, yeah, I would say, comparing them, Pantheon's better than Lightning Rod, Thunderhead's better than Alpengeist, and Tennessee Tornado is slightly better than Apollo's Chariot, Pro yeah, that's, so I would say that Dollywood has better top three or equivalent, I'd say the, be the rest of the ride that... Um, Bush Gardens Williamsburg does make Bush Gardens Williamsburg win this competition. So I would say Bush Gardens Williamsburg is a superior park in my opinion. Slightly though, with them both excelling in similar things. With great family, coasters, great throw a few great throw rides, and great theming. So, Silver Dollar City versus Bush Gardens Tampa. Garden Tampa has three coasters in my top 20, top 15 even, with Montu, Iron Gwazi, and Kumba, with two of the most intense roller coasters in the world, and Iron Gwazi being sneakily intense in positive G-forces. So, which one do I prefer? Would it be the, you know, the top three of, like, Powder Keg, um, Outlaw Run, and Time Traveler, or three coaches in my top 20. I, I pretty obviously prefer Journey of Tampa, the roller coasters. It, and they have great family coasters with Cheetah Hunt, Cobra's Curse, Scorpion is like a middle there, like, you know, the first inversion for a kid normally. And it has a pretty decent kitty coaster, too, at Bush Gardens Tampa. All I run really didn't have too much for kids except, like, Thunderation, some smaller flat rides, and the Fire and, fire and Hole. But, yeah. So, let's look at theming. Bo uh, both cars are very themed, you know, Bush Gardens Tampa being themed to Africa, and, out and Silver Dollar City being a, you know, like a... Um, the mount on the mountain, like Missouri, it basically seemed to where it actually is, which I would say that Outlaw Run probably, or Outlaw Run and Silver Dollar City, have better seeming than Bush Gardens Tampa, just because it's a lot more authentic, I guess. But yeah, so which of these two parks do I prefer? I would say Bush Gardens Tampa. Just because the roller coasters are a lot more superior than more roller coasters, higher quality roller coasters. Even that, and, and have, you know, well, pretty sizably worth theming. But the atmosphere is also good. And the theming is still pretty decent at Bush Gardens Tampa. And overall, I do prefer SeaWorld Entertainment over Hershen Family Entertainment. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe. But down in the comments below if you guys disagree and what, what, you, what you, you guys think. Um, why, you know, for example, if Hershen, if you guys think Hershen is better than SeaWorld, just, you know, say in the comments below what you personally think. Peace.